Hey guys, Ghost here, and tonight I'm going to review the Promete by Art of the Exhale. So here it is. <clears throat> what this is, is a silica-based rebuildable tank atomizer. It works by, um, you could imagine, just imagine it as a big cardamizer. I know when people think of cardamizers, they think of filler taste and and burning out and things like that, but I can assure you that this little device is the exact opposite. It is made out of 100% titanium, and um, <clears throat> at the base, I believe it is, what is it, 18 millimeters, I believe, and at the top section here, I believe it's 21 or 22 millimeters. Um, Diameter is 21 mil millimeters at the top here. The height from the bottom here, not including the connector to the top, is 52 millimeters. And it could hold, it's listed as holding 3.5 millimeter or milliliters of juice. But in my experience, it actually holds a little more, maybe 3.8, maybe even 4 milliliters of juice. It holds a lot if you do the filler material right. So, like I said, this thing is made out of titanium, which means it's extremely light. It weighs 33 grams, which is extremely light. <clears throat> um, I guess I could jump right in and just show you some vapor production, then we could get moving. There's a little bit of breeze in here. Um, vapor production is really good. Um, it's uh, surprisingly good, actually. Um, but that also depends on how you uh, build it. Flavor is outstanding. Um, maybe at first it might taste a little bit like silica, but that should be expected. Maybe you should do a quick torch when you first start to, to hopefully... Uh, get that silica taste out of there pretty quickly um, but after it breaks in its flavor is outstanding um, the reason why I fell in love with this atomizer is first of all I use primarily Genesis styles um, which are not extremely portable you can't throw them in a bag or throw them in your backpack and and go off to where you're going but this is extremely portable doesn't matter what orientation you hold it at, um, it, it wicks all the same. Um, another good thing about this is that you could bring it on a plane, you don't have to worry about pressure um, causing your juice to leak out or anything like that. It Pressure does not matter with this thing. There's no, there's no pressure, um, you know, with, uh, with uh, Genesis styles you have to get that that uh, you have to have a big uh, air hole in there so you get good circulation to get the juice up there, juice flowing, and things like the K fun. It's all revolving around pressure and vacuums. This, if you set this up right, then you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Um, it it works perfectly, and I'll show you right now the way it wicks. Right there, you make a wick and coil, and uh, these wicks go up into this filaments here, right here. I'm actually getting a little bit low, and um, I actually don't know where my filament material is, so I can't I can't show you what it looks like. But it's a uh, it's called polyfill. It's similar to the same material that you have in a cardamizer. Um, you replace. It. I actually notice um, my biggest concern with this type of uh, device is that it would be a pain to switch flavors. That is not the case. Um, when you want to change flavors, you just rinse your wicks out, do a little dry burn, um, make sure all that flavor is out of the way. And then here, you take this uh, polyfill out. I'm not actually going to do it, but this unscrews right here. You just take that polyfill out, run it under a faucet for a couple seconds, and then uh, pat it dry with a paper towel. 
and then the flavor is gone. You can switch flavors, so it's really nice. And then um, to fill it up, you just drip your juice in there. Like I said, it holds 3.5 to 4 mils. Actually, a great capacity. It's really easy to fill. Um, actually, I'm going to do a quick fill right now. So you just drip your e-liquid, and uh, you try not to get it in the center because then it's going to go in your mouth. So you just try to get around that center post and into the polyfill. So you just drip it in, wait for it to soak up, and when you see that it's not saturating anymore, then you're full. All right, um, and then put it back on. You just make sure your wicks are pointing up, and these wicks are going to be touching that polyfill, and that's actually how it wicks down to your actual coil. So once it's in there, you screw it back in, and it's as easy as that. It's good to go right now. So what else do I want to say about this device? Um, it's just the heat the heat generation out of this is phenomenal it's the warmest vape I've ever had it doesn't it doesn't burn your I mean tongue or anything like that but it's an extremely warm vape and it's just like nothing I've ever had before and that's why I'm gonna buy the Axiom which is pretty much it's a similar design to the Promotate what the Axiom is I recommend first of all um, the Axiom list and the Promotate list are open right now you could join it. It's on vaporwall.com. I'll put the I'll put the links in the description. But going back to what I was saying, the Axiom is essentially a Promete, but it's it's a 22 mil uh, diameter, so it's going to fit flush on all your 22 uh, millimeter devices, and it also has adjustable airflow. And you're going to be able to use it as a dripping tank. So you're going to have those wicks pointing down, and uh, it's going to go, so you drip your, your juice in about 1 mil to 1.5 mil, which, which is a very good capacity for a dripping atomizer. So you're going to have 1 to 1.5 mil of juice, then you're going to have your wicks pointing down, and if you look at the diagrams, um, you're going to see that there's no way for your juice to leak. You could do it any orientation you want. Even if you're in dripping mode, it's not going to leak because that raised air post in the center, the juice is not going to be able to go down the connection, and it's not going to be able to go up because the way um, the post, the center post goes from your drip tip essentially down all the way to a little above that airflow um, coming up from the bottom. So there's no way you're just going to leak out. It's going to hold one to 1.5 millijuice. So you're going to have a tank rebuild by atomizer that could hold a good amount of juice, and then you're still going to have that dripping atomizer if, you, if you're just like testing flavors or things like that. So I highly recommend that Axiom. I'm actually on the list right now. The list isn't terribly long right now, but um, unfortunately the Art of the XL lists are going fairly slow until about August when uh, Bashik's going to get a, I believe he's getting a new machine. So. August production should um, get up to speed, so I highly recommend getting on those lists. And um, highly recommend getting a Promete, highly recommend getting that Axiom, and that, that pretty much sums up this uh, video. So if you have any questions or anything like that, um, post in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.